Today we're going to be moving one of my favorite and rarest species of ants into a brand new nest, so let's get right into it. This is the nest I got for them. It has four floors, four sides, and it's connected all the way around. As always, I apply a layer of fluon to the new nest. Fluon is a chemical that ants cannot walk over, so it doesn't let them escape while moving them into their new home. I repeat the same process for the bin I'm using, and then I fill up the water towers of their new nest. That way, their new home will be nice and humid. Then I plug up the entrance of the new nest, because I don't want the ants that I put into the outworld escaping from the bottom. Now, these are the ants that I'm moving into the new nest. As you can see, they're absolutely beautiful, but more importantly, they're absolutely crammed and need a new home. I'm starting to get nervous because here I start removing the glass and immediately all the ants start running around everywhere since I've just broken into their current home. With the dirty glass, sometimes it's hard to tell how many ants are in the nest, but you can see that as soon as I opened it, hundreds if not thousands started pouring out. The queen is actually right there in the top left chamber, but other than that, you can see all the repletes, all the pupae, and all the workers that this colony has. If we zoom in right here, we can take a closer look at everything that's going on inside this nest. Most of the repletes are found on the bottom floor because that's where the water tower is, and they really like it humid. And then towards the top are all the pupae, and then the queen is actually hiding in the back corner. It's amazing how cute these ants are. I find them absolutely adorable with their clear yellow bodies and then their large black eyes. They just seem so cartoon-like to me and I love them. The replete store food for the colony and they're filled with red hummingbird nectar, which is why their abdomens are red. Now many ant species will move on their own. If you connect two nests to each other and then you give some heat to the new nest, ants like warmth so naturally they'll move from their old nest into the new nest and you don't really have to do much work at all. However with honey pots, the repletes cannot move. So here you see me picking them up one by one since I have to transfer them manually as they are not able to carry themselves. One by one, I manually move each replete into the new nest and despite them being so heavy from all the liquid that they're storing in their abdomen, they're still somehow able to climb up the wall, which just shows how strong ants truly are. This was what the nest looked like once all the repletes were moved in. Sort of weird to see since none of the regular workers were in yet. Now it was time to transfer the single most important member of the colony. With my forceps and a piece of paper towel, I gently picked up the queen and you can see how beautiful she is with her golden yellow color. I put her into the new nest and now it was time to begin transferring all the workers. With my aspirator, I vacuumed up workers, eggs, pupae, and larvae. This took forever, but I quickly dumped them into the new outworld and out they came running. All the little things you see which look like grains of rice are actually pupae. That's where new workers hatch from and you can tell that they really needed the upgrade since they have a lot of baby ants about to hatch. Now that all of the moving was finally complete and the queen was reunited with her workers, it was time to finish up what had to be done. Now that all of the repletes were moved in and I no longer needed to access the bottom part of the nest, I placed on the new glass and it was time to open up the plug so the ants could start going down and exploring their new home. Even though the ants were mad at me for disturbing them, I'm sure they would be thankful for the new space they were about to get. Let's see their reaction. Very quickly, worker ants started going down, exploring what was going on beneath them, and making their way down to the different floors. Even though the nest still looked pretty empty, since there were only a couple of worker ants going down and exploring, I couldn't wait to see them moved in and settle into their new home. I suddenly looked at the outworld and this is what I saw. The queen herself was moving into the new nest, followed by an army of ants carrying pupae and larvae down as well. I left the ants alone for a couple of hours and then came back to this. They were completely moved in. They had brought all of their brood down to the bottom floor where the heat cable was and they were happy to be in a much bigger space. The move was a complete success and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe because next week I'm going to be feeding a bunch of my colonies and you're not going to want to miss that. Thanks for watching.